first time I met him, he walked across the street, he said, Jack Daniels, next to the God. Then he said, the best whiskey in the world would be Jack Daniels. When it comes to his association with Jack Daniels, that he was never a spokesperson no. for the company. He was never hired to do endorsements. That was just his favorite drink. I think if you'd have gone to him and tried to pay him, he'd quit drinking it. He kind of thought he'd discovered Jack Daniels, and it's okay with me, you know? He told me one time, you know, kid, you sell the best booze in the world. I said, thank you. The business of having his drink on the stage was a very integral part of every program he did. If it wasn't there, uh, it was noticeably absent. At one point in the show, he would always stop to have a little, little taste. The fact is that that was, uh, that was just as important as the music. He, all he wanted was his Jack Daniels sippin' whiskey, little water back, and he would take it just at its name, sippin' whiskey, and that gave him what he needed. He was happy about that? He was very happy about that, right. He took the business of Jack Daniels very seriously, Angelo. He would have his drink, and he would take his little sip, see? That's the way he did. Then he would take a glass of water and have a sip of that. Sip and whiskey, water back. That and it. that is eloquent of his entire life. Very simple, very unpretentious. You know, over the years, Jack Daniels has certainly benefited by having a lot of celebrities who've adopted our brand as their whiskey of choice. And there's probably none that is more famous than Frank Sinatra. He was certainly one of the first, and he was also a very close friend of our first salesperson, Angelo Lucchese. And it was not that uncommon for Frank back in the mid-50s to hold up a glass of Jack Daniels on stage and say that this is Jack Daniels and it's the nectar of the gods. So we felt like we would honor him with his own special edition of Jack Daniels. So what's in the glass in front of me is Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. You know, back when Frank became a fan of Jack Daniels, it was in the bottle at 90 proof. It tended to be potentially a little bit bolder and spicier, a little bit oakier in character. So when you take a glass, you notice that on the aroma that it definitely has a lot of oak character, but you can also pick up the sweet vanilla and caramel sweet notes that you would expect from Jack Daniels. And with a taste, It definitely has a boldness that comes through that comes from the oak, but at the same time, it's very smooth. And we feel like that this is a whiskey that's as colorful and as bold as the person that it honors, Frank Sinatra. You know, Frank's favorite way of drinking Jack Daniels was just to take Jack Daniels, ice, and water. And we feel like that this whiskey is perfect for the classic Frank Sinatra cocktail.